Dark Elves versus Press. Looking forward to this one. Again, these two teams are playing in my division. So it'll be good to see how this went, how they're playing, how they're holding up. Just waiting for the notification to go out uh, from Twitch so we can watch it together. And there we go. Make sure I get the comments up. Make sure that I'm actually baking. So we'll just test my microphone. It's a new headset. Right, that looks pretty good. Let's go for it. Uh, so they're defending, so we will be watching the breaths on this drive. There we go. Yep. Anyone picked up any skills yet? Ooh, three loners, that's always a bad start. Uh, we have a movement. Here we got here, Zach for wide. Itchy Johnson. Jake the unit. Him. Alright, a very protected. Let's have a look. We'll wait and see what happens at the end of this and we'll look at both the tactics. So, we'll stop there for a sec. Let's have a look. We've covered all the angles here. For the Dark Elves, can't really go wide. And on the red side, not really, uh, it's not letting me move it that well. Hey, Pass Dog. Um, not really defending the, uh, the Blitz. So it'll be interesting, we'll see how we go with that. <coughs> oh, asking you, shall we see? No one wide for the breaths. <coughs> Let's see how that. Ooh, that's exactly roughly where. Well, not exactly roughly, but that's we should have had two players on the wide zone. So probably would have been nice to have those two over here and these guys covered just for this sort of uh, eventuality. Yeah. So I haven't seen any of this game. But we'll see how we go. Goes for the blitz. Guess the power, because that's what you do. We used to show, see if we've got anything here. Look. It's not really letting me bring everything up. So I don't know who won the kickoff here. But I think Dark House would have liked to start in defense regardless. And catches it. So already the Brits are uh, on the back foot. Trying to get the wide guys, not too bad, I like it. Counter attacks with his power and knocks him out, alright, a good exchange. Hopefully we can see the Brits uh, put a bit of pressure here. Maybe do a column defence over here. Uh, if he lets him go wide, it's not going to work well for him. That's, that's still uh, one die. Push. Oh, I don't know about moving him. I, I liked him where he was. Oh no, he's covered it. There you go. He likes it as well. But if a blitz here drops in, I think mean he could defend. He can get him down. See him go through here. I'm not getting anything else though. Got a bunch of blocks, nothing but pushes, which actually helps the Dark Elves. Surprised it didn't follow up, and I think the follow up would have probably been a bit better there. Oh, looks like we're going the old Twitch of Rooney. Maybe hand off to this guy. Then see him run around. Yeah, I think we might see a, a handoff to a runner. 
on the oh you gotta farm that SPP. No, it's just a handoff. There you go. Yep, there goes the runoff. He's still getting locked in, we still got a couple of guys that can move over here. Then From the tunnel zone, where's the from downtown Blitz? Utilizing that extra movement, he's paid for it in this in uh, TV. I swear, Pickle never has any luck in the first uh, first few games with his new teams. Oh, nice column defense. I like it. Gonna have to support this guy here though, if he's gonna try and lock him in. Yeah, beautiful. And then the other one, maybe here, if he's gonna go for the full column. Oh no, okay, he's got the old L shape. He's doing well, he's uh, making do with what he's got, but yeah, here's the problem. Elf bullshit, there's your scoring threat. So again, he's gonna come along, probably. Do a handoff somewhere, do a pass. There's one, there's the handoff. Now we're just going to run it along. So he's putting out too many targets now. You're going to have to probably blitz this guy just to lock him in. What's your movement? Movement six. Movement 8. The elf screen's coming up. This is probably the weak point right here. If you can try and get him out and put him in a tackle zone, make him roll dice. Yep, and here they go again. Run around, run around. It's not too bad this time because on this side you've only got the loners, so you're really not going to be worried too much over there. Push him away, yeah that's nice, bring him up, bring him up again, nice. Before you do the uplets, unusual. I'm going to try and come around then, yep. I think I would have liked that one, the blitz over here to be honest. Again, it's just because he's closer. It's a scoring for it. Problem is though, he hasn't really put the pressure on here. Like if he had stood here, at least it would have caused him to do a reroll. If he failed to dodge. Yeah, unfortunately that does nothing, because it's still going to be a dodge forward, isn't it? So it's either a 2 plus handoff or a 2 plus GFI for a touchdown. What's he on? No SVP. Probably go for the GFI. Yeah. Both, both options were 2 pluses. He just got to decide where he wants to put his star player points. So not defending for the blitz. Whether or not you could have done much against that, I'm not sure. Hey, brother. And not going too bad. We are the threat set up like this. I'm gonna take a quick pause it. So we had this sort of uh, offense for the Brits. We had that sort of defense for the Dark Elves. And I was commenting that unfortunately I didn't see a good blitz defense. And funnily enough, a blitz got ki uh, rolled. Managed to get four players in, catch the ball, and just wasted a few turns to get a touchdown. We'll keep going. Switch sides now. Oh no, we don't switch sides. Oh, okay. 
okay, so he kept the same. I guess he put a uh, lightning one strike twice. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> High kick was on top of someone's head already, and so you couldn't choose someone else. That's a shame. The, uh, the run of luck has been definitely on the dark outside, really. The Brits did a nice KO for their first uh, blitz, but since then they haven't really cracked armor whatsoever, so the AB8 is really holding up. Just pushes, isn't it? On loners as well. Oh. Yeah, you go for the re -roll. he's had enough of this. Dangerous though, bringing it forward so early. Has he got him right? He's got to cover this. He should have been back here. Oh, there's a nice... What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Nah, we're just gonna do Dark Elf things, which is column defense. So you notice he blitz with the one that's already got free SVP. I'll try and get him up if you can. We'll probably see a uh, pass that guy in the, uh, doing his offense just to give him the level. Okay, so the Brits are going to try and do the same thing. They're going to try and go side to side. Same as what Dark Elves did. They've definitely got the same movement. So it's pretty equal in that sense. Get the power. Really need an armor break here. Can't buy it. I'm wondering where the blitz is going to come from. Maybe here on this, this guy here? But yeah, they're definitely going from side to side. Looking good. So yeah, I think this one might be the blitz. This target here. Who is that? No idea. Nando. Gets the power. Good. Needs an arm break. I can't get it. Alright, we've got block over here apparently. So it worked for the Duck Elf switching from side to side. Let's see if it's going to work for the Brits. He's kept both of them over here. He really not really trying, didn't seem to put too much pressure on the ball carry there. I'm thinking uh, that budget smuggles is going to be the, probably the prime blitz target. No, we're, we're not sure why we're over here. Oh, it's okay, he's playing I don't know about that, I think leaving him active. Yeah, he's still got a target spot just here. He's got to make sure. He's got to come over here. No, he needs to, he needs to be there. That's not safe. That's not safe. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Can we get a guy running around maybe? I wonder 
if we're gonna save in the uh, two plus, two plus, two plus. Oop, there we go, yeah, there we go. Oh, we're gonna come down maybe. Oh no, there we go, it's covered. There we go. Let's reroll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, goes for the greed. Easy. Ooh, where's the. I was going to say that was a good bounce for him. We just had to move out. Now, we've got a two die. Brits should be able to score. But I don't know if you want to give Dark Elves two turns to uh, counter attack again. Oop, just a push. Oh, why? Why? Why would you not? That's weird. No, but no one dies. One dies, especially when you got him here. Could stood him up. Blitz with him. Or even if you want to do a stand there, blitz with him. Yeah, here we go. Not too sure what Pickle was thinking there, but you know, good things happen. Why? Yeah, I don't know. It's easy. I mean, it's easy when we're sitting here and commentating. There's no pressure. There's no. Uh, all the time in the world to analyze it, but it, it did seem like the, especially the second one die. I wasn't a fan of that. You know, we could understand the one die, maybe going for it, but it's only was it one in three chance. I don't think he wanted the extra hits. I think he wanted then to stand up this guy, pick up the ball, touchdown. But yeah. I'm, the first one that I would say was, you know, maybe a 50-50 choice, not what I would have done, but definitely the second one die, you really needed that player still in play. There wasn't much chance of getting him down. But he shouldn't be scored on. There's no one in the dark elves, so this is when maybe you go for the, uh, go find someone, go for a foul on him and get a bit of attrition for the next half. There we go, we got a knockout. So hopefully, you know, it won't be in too bad if both of these knockouts don't come back. And line up, yep, go for the one guy. So no rerolls. Yeah, just going for SPP. Was that the one that needed it? The pass? Yes. Yeah, so he gets that pass in. We were looking for that. We knew that was coming at some point, and he managed to do it on turn eight. So nice work. Maybe have a shot over here. Yep. Pretty good for the armor wise. Oh, both KOs come back. That's that's not good for the rest. Not what you want to say. Switch over. Go ahead and start with a nice ship on defense. See what sort of defense we've got coming from the breaths. Hey, Frenzy, you know it's better than a kebab? So lucky.
which I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I've got myself half a kilo of lamb, and I'm going to whip up a nice piece of lockies. But this is very, very aggressive from the dark elves. Also protecting, now a second, let's put a bit of this. Pause. I'll quickly pause here. It is a bit risky if we see the um, perfect defense, but you're not getting pass on the blitz really. Maybe have those guys on the line, on the wide line, come back one square just to protect yourself from a perfect defense. Because right, you're not going to gain anything from a quick snap. But we'll see how we go. Go back and see how he uses them. Dark Elves. Oh, <laughs> there's a quick snap. <laughs> okay, so we get a run around the sides. Ah, oh, frenzy, but um, boom. Perfect D. Because now I'm married, I'll take any D at this point. I like this. Yep. And yeah. Oh, there's a KO. I'm not a not sure I'm a fan of the um the gap one gap between each one. I feel like you put them all together or you take the wides in the center. That way because you're still only using four players to take out the three. Um I don't know if it gains you much. Right, once again, Dark House just getting the luck of the draw there. Managed to catch the ball. Much wider screen where if you've had them all bunched together. And the problem is, I, if you put a lot of effort into this, I mean, this is a. Let's, let's just put some pause of this. This is a beautiful, beautiful setup from uh, Luca. He, he wants to show that he's going left. That is, but yeah, the dark house can just dodge away, and that's it. And that's that's why I'm having a bit of a pause here because I do like watching uh, Mr. Luca play dark elves. I've only seen it once or twice, but I know he's ranked very, very high with him. I like what he's done. Let's see if I can get up here. These two up here, protecting one another. It's just too many scoring threats, isn't there? With the quick snap. He's got the runner, he's got movement 7. He's got a nice little screen in the center and the left. I don't, it's, you just can't, I don't think you can really stop a touchdown coming unless you get some luck. Let's find out if he does get some luck. That's where the blitz comes from. Bad. Up, let's see what Luca does on this. So Bunman thinks the bait is baiting Dark Elves. That's exactly what the Brits have done. So let's see what he does with that. Looks like we're going down the center. Looks like we're going to see us a cage. Yep. Which means it's going to rely on him. Won't rely on the Dak guy. Uh, where are we going to get the last cage from? Yep. I 
totally missed it. I'm just going to go back a bit. Oh, that went back too far, didn't it? Uh, didn't see where that guy came in. Oh, that's all good. He's got a nice, beautiful cage. Smack bang in the centre. That's looking good. And the birds are really just playing catch up, but we can go for a base. Because of life here. Thank you. Had a family member come in just as that last play happened. So he got the wrestle, which is a shame. The, re the reason it's a shame is he didn't get him off the box, the cage, and didn't get the base. Oh, we're going for the one dies. Gets away with it that time. But again, unfortunately, Dark Elves, isn't it? You, you just, you're comfortable doing a two die, uh, so two plus dodge. Let's spend. I'm wondering which way he wants to come up. So he's obviously going to go right. He has to get dice rolls. I mean, he's only got one re roll at the moment. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Are we just going to go for it? 2 plus 2 plus? Nope. Now burn another turn, it looks like. So, there's the dodge. Probably see this guy dodge too. Ooh. All right, we're going for the instead of dodging. Let's just uh, push some people away. Yeah, we just have to worry about anything else. Everyone else is based up, which is what they want. And again, we've gone from a beautiful cage in the center. To look at this beautiful line and a trip. Oh, oh. like I said, it. The ones don't come often, but they're just coming at the wrong time for the threats. I like the play. I didn't mind it. He had block against a uh, unskilled guy. Basically we've got, we've got four here holding up five, so that's good for the Dark Elves. Oh! Well, you know, it's in the name, isn't it? Flimsy. Living up to it. And we're just going. Two nil up. I've turned the animations on for touchdowns. I feel like, you know what? You get a touchdown, you get to see a couple of dancing girls. Well done. But not too much. I switch back. Feels like he's playing the threat of... I'm not too sure. Like, what have we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're down two players to Dark Owls, that's rough. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Hopefully we can get a uh, touchdown back. That's an ob obnoxious uh, defense. That's just, you know what? Come at us. We dare you. Oop, oop, touchback. Yes, some luck goes to breath. Let's see if we can utilize this. So who's he? Need some star player points. Alright, stun, yeah look. At this point stuns are stuns are needed. Uh where's the blitz? Oh, you're not blitzing the ball carry, are you? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you have five? No, eight. That's why I expected the movement. 
I think I'm just in the pocket now, I think. With that not being a, uh, a pal, I think we're going to have to see... Seems to probably around here or here. Yeah, there it is. There's a spot. Looking good. No, no, we've gone back. Oh, I think I like that spot over there. Do you mind it? Ah, oh, Fen doing its job. Looking forward to seeing the humans, uh, Brog's team, pick up a bit of Fend. Look, any time you can get a Dark Elf down is probably good at this point. He's down on numbers. Where are we going? So the press can still do something. 3 plus, 2 plus? Yeah. 3 plus, 2 plus. Probably just sit up one. Yep, there it is. So again, a very strong line, and then a double up here. Probably a blitz on him though. Now, don't know where to go from there though. Oh, KO, there we go. Starting the turn. What are you going to go there? One, two, dodge? Surely not dodging. We have to go somewhere though because we've got a nice... Oh, he followed up. That's... That's a big gap. That's... End off. That's right. There's my catch. Oh, nice work. Okay. GFI, GFI. Come on. Come on. Do one more. And the extra movement. Very nicely done. Didn't have the time to count that out, but look at that. He gets his first the blue cheerleaders. Woo. And we're back to the dark elves. So one two, one two. Two to the dark elves. Let's see. Let's see if the Brits can hopefully get a blitz of their own. Oh, I see it. I think the Brett's. I think he's missing a trick by not going wide. You don't want this Dark Elves going wide on you. And he's just pretty much. You're down one, one touchdown already. And he's just let a goddamn airstrip open there. Like, oh. It's going to be a rough catch though. Who's he got? The lineman? Yeah, it's going to be a rough, ca rough catch. Oh, <laughs> what a lucky man. Who are we going to give it to? So he's flying as far back as possible. Okay. I thought we may have seen it. Oh, but he's already leveled. So maybe not. Who did he give it to? Oh, okay. Hang a sec. He's going to pass. He's going to go for a pass play. So who are you guys? Runner. The runner. Are we gonna see? Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna pass to the runner. He'll go here. Yeah. There is. Oh no, we've got another one. There's the pass. Yep. If anyone's watching this, do not give up the wide zones to elves. I like, oh, I'll probably give up the wide zones when I play against him, but, you know. This just shows what happens when you do give elves the chance, the opportunity to uh, come up to sides. You, you pretty much want him to come through the centre, that way you can try and box him in. You know, don't have to base him, you just want to put tackle zones all around them. So wherever they stand, or wherever they move to, re requires a dodge. The blitz is over here. Yeah, a bit, bit 
like Skaven um, against Skaven, you want to, you just can't keep him in place. You need to either box him in properly, or you need to just make the path forward an absolute landmine. No, he shouldn't have gone over there. Here. Two guys here. Oh no, we found them? Oh, the pettiness. <laughs> oh, good one. How to go? The apothecary. Miss next game. Miss next game. Congratulations on leveling. You, you guess. Oh, no. Come on, ref. Oh, it's solid. Absolutely. What do we love in OBBL? A good foul that results in a death. Unfortunately, the apothecary did his job. Not that well, but, you know, he's not dead dead. Oh, we got this. Oh yeah, so nice blitz. Pushes him out over here. Yep. Everyone runs around him. Look at that. You have to admire Lucas' placement. Oh, <laughs> too bad he can't run. There we go, there we go. So that was his last reroll, but I mean, that was vital. You had to be there. But again, I'm just going to pause it. You'll notice that he used the, the non-loners. The loners generally move last, or tr he tries not to use, use them for anything else. Um, make sure he uses the players that can have their reroll, their actions rerolls, and make sure that the blitzes are with the block. So, yeah. very nicely done. And the blitz, unfortunately, just haven't had the luck when they really, you know, that 50 50 luck, just haven't had it, unfortunately. And I think it's all been, it's all been from the pressure of the blitz and the early touchdown of, on their drive has caused it. We really had to play, uh, play upwards but having said that hopefully uh hopefully you can watch the replay see where we can definitely make some adjustments to the game plan nice unfortunately it's just coming a little bit late isn't it from no armor breaks in the first half to we got deaths fouls send-offs looking good but unfortunately yeah the blitz should be over here oh no we're going through the center Oh, do Let's see what we get. Push. Can't follow up. Tail is wagging a little bit. Oh no, fuck it. Let's just do a two plus dodge because we're out. Very nicely done. And I think that, that's, that's... Definitely a nice play, that one. And something to analyse, I guess. It's, uh... More the less... You know, he didn't have to move too many people out of the way. But he did risk his ball carrier. I know it's a 2+, plus, not too bad. But, uh, you know, would it have been better to blitz the guy on the left and uh, with two dice and then run around? I'm not sure you could have made it with enough spaces. I'm not going to go that in depth with the commentary, but again. I'm not sure why we're set up like this. He may have just gone, I'm, I'm over this. Are we going to see the respect foul? That one. We'll do a pass, and then a respect foul. This guy right here. It's only a loner, that's why he's there for. Oh, oh, oh. Pick it up, come on. And this is what I mean. Goes for the pass. Yep. Got catch. And then send everyone else around here, and we go for the foul. There we go. Very good. 
would have been disappointed if we didn't see this there. And boom. Only a KO. Oh, he was one off though. One off. So that's it. 3 1. Congratulations to Luca. Commiserations to Crimson there. Pickle. Let's have a look. 10 armor breaks. Only 5 armor breaks for the big jocks. And of course, the guy that's missing next game gets the MVP after he works so hard to get the uh, actual score. It was, it was a crazy game. It was. I liked it by the, from the sense that it was a very. There was no wasted activations from the Dark Elves. It was very nicely done. Every player moved for a reason, and uh, didn't really have to reroll. I mean, I think his rerolls were either the the two plus fails or the critical blitz to get the ball the first time. There we go. So only failed the armor five times. Dodge was good. So that doesn't really show just how dominant, like 10 armor failures compared to R5. But that, that was the game. And uh, thank you everyone for jumped in and watched the game and to those that will watch it later on. Hope you enjoy it. Good luck for the rest of the round, boys and girls. Take care. Yeah. Oh, I had a